Certainly lar landing large payloads on Mars is a critical capability that we need if we're ever gonna put, send humans to Mars. The things that we've done now with Mars Science Laboratory and others only have a certain degree of mass that can take there. And that's where the inflatables come into play because you need this, basically you need all this area to slow you down when you get there. The second thing is the missions up to now, they have a, a fairly large footprint of where they think they're gonna land. So if they land kilometers from where they really want to, they consider it success. But if you want human missions to Mars, you want to land over there in that corner. You'll need to do that. So when you want precision landing in a spot, it usually can, means you have more control that you have to do. A lot of my career has been in control of flexible structures for airplanes. And there was actually a program with the Air Force maybe 15, 20 years ago where flexibility of the wings usually are considered bad things. But in this case, we were trying to take, take advantage of that flexibility to control the aircraft. So when I found out and worked a little bit in the Irvy, uh, too, helping do some modeling at that time, it made me think, wonder if we could use the flexibility of the vehicle as the means for controlling so you can get away from thrusters and having to carry propellant with you. The concept, we focused on two this year. Uh, one would be to take the aeroshell and just assume that you could rotate just the aeroshell somehow you could have some kind of actuator that would rotate it in pitch and in yaw to produce. And I've actually done that and designed control laws to try to make, uh, follow guidance, simulated guidance commands, and that one works very well. It really works very well. Now, presently working on deforming the aeroshell, computing aerodynamics for that, and going to try to design control laws for that one and see if it works uh, somewhat the same way. 